To look at a project, click on Launch. And it'll take it a few seconds before it comes up. Okay, once it comes up, usually you come in at an introduction or a navigation screen that explains how do you work with this screen. And the right, right arrow takes you forward and the left arrow takes you back and it's, there are different steps in it and we'll go through very quickly what these are. But I want to show you something at the very beginning. This is something I recommend you do at the very beginning of every project. Down here at the bottom of this project window, there's a drop-down menu that says select to move to another section. So these are the sections, navigation, introduction, your assignment, all of these. You can navigate to any particular section so you don't have to start at the beginning every time. But I want you to come down to this one. The next to the last one is called your evaluation. So I recommend when you first come into a project, come down to your evaluation. Now you're not going to evaluate anything yet, but once you click here, the resources that are shown at this point, there's an evaluation resource. This is what you're going to hand your evaluator. There's print my project, and this is what I'm interested in. Print my project will give you a PDF of the whole project, everything that is in this window here. And so I'm going to click on print my project. It's a little too big. Let me make it smaller. This is a PDF which you can save to your hard drive, and I recommend you do that. It's going to show you everything to do with this project. Table of contents, your assignment skills, these are the same things that you'll go through when you go through the thing online. Down the introduction, remember that screen we just saw, the introduction with that picture and you may have participated in an icebreaker activity. This is written in a PDF, what was on the screen. Your assignment, one of, the, one of the pages in the project is your assignment that describes what you're going to do. The purpose of your, this project is to introduce yourself to club, the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. That's what the icebreaker does. And then there's a skills assessment. Now, when you're working with it online, and we'll take a quick look at it, when you're working with it online, you will look, for, look at each of these statements, like I'm confident and calm when speaking in front of groups. Where do you rank? Are you emerging? Are you a brand new speaker? Developing maybe as a one. Are you accomplished at this? It's a three. With all the ratings in pathways, Three is a good score. People think it's like a C, and a C is, is not as good as you want it to be. Well, three is a good score. It means you've accomplished, you're accomplished in that particular assessment. Four means you're better than that. You're better than accomplished. You, you do better than most people do. And exemplary basically means you, there's nothing to teach you in this area. You are as far along in this category as you can be. So, the fact that this page has a little arrow here means that this is something that when you're doing it online, you'll actually fill out. You click on some numbers and fill this out. But here you can at least see printed what it looks like, what, what the assessment is going to look like. And you'll do this before you start the project and you'll do it again at the end of the project. These are key because this, the, particularly the one at the end, is how you're going to let pathways know you're finished with the project. We'll get to see that in a few minutes. Competencies, this is what the things you're going to learn and become more competent in as a result of taking this project. You and your goals, organizing your speech, write it out, remember your outline. These are things that you'll see in the online steps. Techniques for practice, see those same things. But it's handy to have this all in a PDF that you can refer to more easily than having to log into Toastmasters and then logging into Pathways to see what it is you're working on. Relax, breathe, and enjoy. These are some steps. After your speech, you'll see how to evaluate yourself, review and apply, This is and complete your assignment. And you'll go in and 
do the self-assessment at the end. Okay, now the project checklist, we'll take a look at these in the beginning. These are the documents that you have an opportunity to print out from within the project, if you choose, but they're all here in the PDF so that you can look at them as well. Check checklist for the icebreaker, what to do, schedule your speech, write your speech. The evaluation form, the three-page evaluation form that you'll hand to your evaluator is available here. It's also available as a separate document, as we saw, but you can find it in here as well. These are the steps, evaluation criteria. The speech outline worksheet, We'll take a look at that. These are, this is key. Basically, this PDF has everything in it that you need to look at for the project. So I'm going to close this. We're not going to look at this anymore. We're going to come back to the project itself. So we got here by coming down to this menu at the bottom, selecting your evaluation because your evaluation gets you to print my project. This is the same in other projects as well. If you come down to the evaluation step, which is the next to the last step, you can print the project out and also the evaluation resource document. But let's go back to the beginning. Here's the introduction. <clears throat> I'm going to just zip right through these. Beginning what it, is, what it is you're going to do in this project, your assignment. This is the same thing you saw in that document, but the checklist shows up here. If you want to see the checklist for the project, you can, this is a PDF, you can download it and print it out if you want to. It's just a one page document. Zip through here. Now here's the assessment that you're going to do before you take the project. This is going to happen at the beginning of every project. The directions, so if you need to know what the directions are, these is I'm calm and confident and calm when speaking in front of groups. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember what a one means, a two means, a three, four, five means? Directions say a one means I'm developing this. I'm starting out, emerging, getting, you know, developing a little further. Accomplished means I feel, con in this case, I'm confident and calm and speaking in front of groups. Yes, if that's true, you get a three. If you are really confident and calm in speaking in front of groups, then you give yourself a four. And if you could not be more confident ever in front of a group, give yourself a five. So you'll go through these next, next, and you go through the, the there are six little questions. So I'm not going to fill those out now because I filled them out once. But when we go on competencies, these are things you're going to learn in the project. Remember, this is kind of navigating a video. Now there is here, a video, which you can click on and see people. It's a three-and-a-half-minute video. I'm not going to turn it on. But, oh, let's turn it on for a second. Okay, here's some. Every Toastmaster begins their journey with an icebreaker speech. Okay, every Toastmaster begins their journey with an icebreaker speech. Little video you can watch. Now, you obviously can't watch it from the PDF, so you have to be online to watch it. You and your goals, there's the icebreaker outline worksheet. You can download it. This is the steps of how to put together your icebreaker speech. Organize your speech, prepare and present it. Rehearse it, techniques for rehearsing it. You can go you record yourself or you can talk to your dog or use a mirror, whatever works. Prepare and present, pacing, organization, just tips for putting together this speech. Relax, breathe, and enjoy. Remember, if we're down here, we're at the prepare and present page. That's the page we're on right now. After your speech, they're going to talk about how to get an evaluation, what an evaluation is. If this is your very first Toastmaster speech, you don't know what an evaluation is or how you're likely to be evaluated. So that's what this talks about. Evaluating yourself after your speech, review and apply. All right, we're about ready to actually give the speech. Complete your assignment. Okay, so now that you've read through the project, plan and prepare your speech report. And there's the project checklist again. And then there's some things, review, organize, schedule, prepare. So now you have, this is the complete your assignment. You're just one step above the evaluation. And here's the evaluation. You're going to, again, 
take a look at how you assess yourself in those same questions, those same questions that you answered when you first came into the project. So, and I'm not going to fill this out because I've, I've, I already filled them out once. And this shows that I've already done this project. 